Today on Two Crazy Kudos, we'll talk about Buffalo Wild Wings on Keto. We'll find out if it really is a keto-friendly restaurant right after this. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. It's Tuesday afternoon, and it is time for lunch, and we are heading into Buffalo Wild Wings. Now, Joe and I go to Buffalo Wild Wings all the time. We absolutely love their wings and we want to show you why. So we're going to head inside, check out their menu and see what are some keto friendly options that they have and some things that maybe you want to avoid. Okay, so we are inside of Buffalo Wild Wings and it is Tuesday, it is about 2.30 in the afternoon. So we're past the lunch rush, which is great because there's not a lot of people here, but there is a bunch of music playing over us. So hopefully you guys can hear us through our microphones. If not, we are bringing sexy back is the <laughs> message that, that we're, we're sending out. So here's the thing, guys, we love Buffalo Wild Wings. They have great food and they have something when it comes to their wings that makes them very special over most of the other wing places. And what that is, is they fry all of their wings in beef tallow. Amazing. Usually when we go out for wings, they're frying them in canola oil or vegetable oil, something like that. Yeah, so beef tallow is an awesome way to fry your wings. So it's one of the few wing places that we will go to to get wings where we know they're not using inflammatory oils. But there are some things about Buffalo Wild Wings you need to be careful with. So we figured since it's Tuesday and we're gonna get wings, we were going to go over what the best keto options are because not all of the wings are good for you if you're on the keto lifestyle. You know what, let me take my glasses off because I'm looking in the viewfinder and they're still kind of tinted half blue dark, a little bit. Half light. So I have a whole spreadsheet that we have made on Buffalo Wild Wings with all of the best nutrition and you're gonna find that on our website. I'll leave a link down below and it's gonna be a blog post with all of the different nutrition and what the best things to get when you go to Buffalo Wild Wings are. So we're gonna start off, we're primarily gonna talk about the wings because it's pretty much the only thing here that is good on keto. And the wings actually come in four different sizes. The snack size is about five wings. That is a snack. The small is nine wings, the medium is 14, and then the large is 18. Which is what we usually get. Yeah, and again, if you come on Tuesdays, it's buy one, get one free. So we each get two larges, and then we take some home for us to have later on. Sometimes we take it home. So I wanted to go over real quick, just on the wings without any of the seasonings, what the nutrition on them are so you have an idea. So if you get the snack size, it's gonna be about 360 calories and there's no carbs in any of the wings. And you don't have to worry about the oil, obviously, because we're frying in tallow. A small is gonna be 650 calories, a medium is 1,010 calories, and a large is gonna be about 1,300 calories. So when we do wings, it's usually an OMAD thing and we just eat all the wings we could possibly eat in the day. So now let's talk about the sauces and dry rubs because a lot of times you don't eat them naked. Right, 
So this is where you can get into trouble when you come to Buffalo Wild Wings. Now, if you really want to be safe and get the best possible option, you want to go with the dry rubs. They have lemon pepper, chipotle barbecue, desert heat, and then Rachel's favorite? Salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar. All of them are going to be about five calories, and they're gonna be between one to two carbs. Um, the Chipotle barbecue is a little bit higher. It's like one to three, depending on the size. Overall, you're looking at one to three carbs total if you're getting those seasonings. Yeah. The one thing you do wanna to to be aware of, it's not the cleanest keto in the world. I mean, no. overall, wings are great, but all of their seasonings do have maltodextrin in them. It's kind of like when you get a flavored pork rind. Right. You know, it tastes really good, but there's a little bit of some wonkiness going on in there. Now, our view on it is, is we are using Buffalo Wild Wings as a treat. It, at most, we're getting it once a week, usually like once every other week, once every three weeks. So we don't mind that little bit. It may elevate our insulin just a little bit, our blood sugar just a little bit, but considering the amount of protein and fat we're having and we're doing it as an OMAD, we're okay with it, but that's a decision you're gonna have to make for yourself. So let's talk about sauces because you may not want dry rubs, you may want sauces. They have a lot of sauces here at Buffalo Wild Wings, but there's probably only six that are actually reasonable for keto and four that are really better for keto. Yeah, so if you want the lowest carb sauces, you're gonna stick with the mild, the medium, hot, and spicy garlic. All of those are gonna be between 45 to 100 calories, depending on what size wings you get. Mild and the medium are gonna be about between one to three total carbs. And then you're gonna have the hot and the spicy garlic. They're gonna be like two to five carbs. Now, the issue with the sauces is once again, not the cleanest thing in the world because though the wings are fried in tallow, all of the sauces do have some canola oil in them. Right, so that's a little bit of a hiccup. So it is something that, again, you're gonna have to make the decision on, would you rather just have the dry rubs and have the maltodextrin, or are you okay with having that little bit of canola oil in the sauce? So the next two sauces that are okay on keto, not the best, but like your next options would be the Wild and the Nashville Hot, and they're gonna have about three to six carbs. Both of those are really good if you want to do like Buffalo Wild Wings as an OMAD. You don't plan on eating any other carbs throughout the day and both of them are going to be somewhere between about 50 to 120 calories. So it's still not a bad option but it's not quite as low as getting like the mild or the medium with only like two or three carbs but it does have a little bit more flavor and a little bit more heat. Now, I noticed that we are not talking about my former favorites, which were Parmesan garlic and the Thai curry sauces. Yeah, now I did want to get to those. Some people would consider them lower in carb, but you're looking at, for example, the Parmesan garlic is going to be between three to eight total carbs, depending on the size you get. And the Parmesan garlic on a large size comes in at a whopping 330 additional calories on top of your wings. And when you look at that compared to getting like the mild, which is only gonna be about 100 calories, that's a significant amount and it has sugar in it. Right. Then you have the Thai curry. The Thai curry is gonna come in between four and 10 carbs based on what size you get. And because we get a large, it's a little bit prohibitive for us. And that one's even higher in calories at 380 calories for a large size. So tasty though. Now beyond that, all of the other sauces are pretty much ones that you want to stay away from if you're on the keto lifestyle because they have a lot of added sugar, like my former favorite, the jam and jalapeno. Yes. Just a small order of that. A small order, I could not believe this, has 20 carbs. That's four carbs per wing. Man. So if you're not into wings, but you're going out with somebody who does like wings, they do have some other protein options. They have a hamburger and they do have a chicken breast. And you can get both of those without a bun. Just tell me you want some lettuce with it. Now I did want to bring up a couple of things that could be a trap, even if you're not on keto. If you're just here on a standard American diet, but want to treat yourself, these are some trap foods that you're going to think hey, that's not so bad, but really could take you down a slippery slope. Yeah. And the first one is gonna be their blue cheese dressing. Their blue cheese dressing for just one serving comes in at 80 calories 
and it has two carbohydrates. So we just bring our own. We snuck in our own. If you haven't seen that recipe, I'll leave a link for it over Rachel's head, but it's great. It's also not made with any unsavory oils. It tastes delicious. It's still gonna be high in fat and calories, but you don't have to worry about adding even more canola oil and things like that. Exactly. So another potential tripping hazard is coleslaw as a side dish. And I know what you're thinking, isn't it just mayonnaise and cabbage? Well, not usually at restaurants. Yeah, most of the time, whether you're here in a restaurant or if you need to buy the stuff in the store, coleslaws have a lot of added sugar. And the one here at Buffalo Wild Wings, you're looking at for a little side dish, 170 calories and 10 carbohydrates. So that's definitely something you wanna steer clear of if you're looking for a side. Now another side dish that you may think is a good healthy option, whether you're on keto or not, would be the carrots and celery with ranch dressing. And that's something that I used to get a lot. But if you get a side of their carrots and celery with ranch dressing, you're looking at 110 calories with a whopping 25 carbohydrates and only six grams of fiber. I think we're gonna leave these on the tray. Another menu item to avoid, and this is the case in a lot of restaurants, is the salad. So unless you're gonna get it with no bread, no croutons, and no dressing, you're really gonna wanna avoid the salads here. Yeah, now I've actually pulled a list off of their website, and again, all of this is gonna be on a nice card that you can actually take a look at on our website, and then when you're coming to Buffalo Wild Wings, you can quickly look up and see like what your nutrition is, but if you get the garden salad here with the white wine vinaigrette, you're looking at 600 calories for a salad. 52 total carbohydrates and only five grams of fiber. With the vinaigrette. With the vinaigrette. If you get the Caesar side salad, it's 330 calories, 30 total carbohydrates, and three grams of fiber. That's a big side. Then you have the chicken Caesar salad. It's 600 calories, 51 total carbohydrates, and six grams of fiber. <laughs> the best one is actually gonna be the garden side salad with a vinaigrette, but that's still 410 calories and 28 total carbohydrates. I would rather have more wings. Now there is one more thing that you're gonna look at when you look at their menu of maybe an appetizer thing, if you're just kinda, hey, I wanna have something when everybody else is having their mozzarella sticks and all that, and that would be the cheese curds with ranch dressing. Sounds pretty keto to me. It what do you does. think? It does. I would think that. Well, an order of the cheese curds with ranch dressing comes in at 1,490 calories. More than your whole meal. And 43 carbohydrates. So our wings are here, and this is perfectly keto. So we're going to show you guys what we've got. We're going to eat a little bit, and then we'll wrap this up when we get out of the restaurant. So obviously we are not going to eat all of these in one sitting, but this is the lemon pepper. We've got the spicy garlic. We've got, what is that one there? That is the salt and vinegar. And then obviously that is going to be the Chipotle barbecue. Now again, they did give us the blue cheese dressing, but Rachel brought our homemade stuff. So what are you gonna start with? I think I'm starting with lemon pepper. This is the end result. We have a lot of wings to take home. And uh, I capped out at nine. And Rachel ended up with- 14. 14 wings. So you got more wings for later on. And then we're gonna have wings to have for like tomorrow. With our regular meal, we can each have a bunch more wings to have two days worth of wings. Okay, so we just left Buffalo Wild Wings and we've got a mess of wings to take home and be able to eat some dinner later on and then again tomorrow. But on our way out the door, we actually got stopped by the manager. But it was a good stopping. Usually you are afraid as a YouTuber when the manager tries to stop you, but it was to say like, what's going on? Yeah, it was amazing because he was like, you know, what are you guys doing? And we're like, well, you know, we're YouTubers and we talk about the keto lifestyle. And you know, Buffalo Wild Wings is like one of the best restaurants that you can eat at. And he, he had no clue why, you know, we were explaining to him about the tallow and he did not know at all. It's interesting. They didn't even know how special they are. Yeah. So it was a great interaction. And you know, he was like, well, hopefully more people come here. I'm like, well, you know what? You have a great product. 
It really tastes delicious. All you have to do is know like the proper things to eat. And it was really interesting is that he was like, you know, I didn't even know, and I've been here for six years, that the fattiest sauces we have are Parmesan garlic and Thai curry. And he's like, I have to stay away from them. And I wanted to say like, not if you go on keto. <laughs> but a really nice guy. So we do want to give a special shout out to the Coconut Creek slash Coral Springs, Florida, Buffalo Wild Wings. Absolutely fantastic service, very clean restaurant. We had a great time. Yeah. So those are all of the best options when it comes to going out to eat at Buffalo Wild Wings on the ketogenic lifestyle. And again, it's going to come down to how, I guess you can say, dirty do you want to have your keto. You know, when you go out to restaurants, you never quite know exactly what is in the different foods and things like this. So you can come here and be really clean and just get the wings with no sauce, no seasonings, and just put your own salt on it, or you can add some of the other stuff. Well, I just love that there is a restaurant that's available in a lot of different states that you can go to and just have this like print out, if you print it out from our website, where you can take it with you and be confident about your order. So let us know down in the comments section if you go to Buffalo Wild Wings, and if you do go, let us know what your favorite sauces are or seasonings, mm -hmm. which ones you like to get, what size you like to get, and also how often do you go to Buffalo Wild Wings? Yeah. Please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.